Welcome back everybody. So this is a video that a whole bunch of you guys have been waiting for and have been asking me about on uh, Snapchat and Facebook and whatnot about the band that I got sent in to get acid etched. This band I shot in uh, during duck season in January, I think it was January 6th I shot it maybe, and uh, you couldn't read absolutely anything on the band. So I actually did a video on how to get your legible duck or goose band acid etched and uh, I sent it in. And it's been about a month exactly, a little over four weeks since the day that I sent it in and I got it back already. And a bunch of you asked me how long it takes to get back. So that's how long it takes. And before I fill you in on all the info on this band, I'm going to put a poll up here in the corner of the video. And I want you to guess how old this band was before, you know, I'm, I'm going to let the cat out of the bag here and tell you. Okay, so I think I'm going to do... Five years old, eight years old, 10 years old, or 12 years old. And uh, so go ahead and choose one of those and uh, I'll go ahead and fill you in on the information right now. I'm gonna show you the band the day that I shot it, the video from that day, so you can get a good look at the band so you can make a pretty good educated guess as to how old you think this band actually is. Okay, so now that you voted and uh, you checked out that band, I'm going to go ahead and take the band out of the envelope they sent back with it. They send it back in a little envelope and they actually write, they write the numbers that were on the band right on the envelope for you. It is amazing how well that acid etching actually works. I mean, it brings those numbers right out. You couldn't read those numbers at all before and now you can read them plain as day, really. So right here is the band, the information on the on the duck. Unbelievably, this duck was only five years old. It was banded in 2014, and uh, it fooled me. I would have thought that band was going to be a lot older with everything being worn off. But it all comes down to uh, that particular duck's habits and where it spends a lot of time. This duck was banded in Erie, Pennsylvania, and uh, it's probably spending a lot of time on the beach with the sand. And that sand is really hard on these bands, you know, it really, really eats the band and uh, a lot of it depends on how acidic the water is that they're spending a lot of time in or whether or not they're spending time in salt water as opposed to fresh water. There's a lot of different reasons why these bands uh, wear faster than others. So uh, that's the deal. It was banded in 2014 in Erie, Pennsylvania and it was killed pretty much right down the road from Erie, so it really didn't make too far of a trek that winter before uh, it uh, met up with the end of my shotgun barrel. I killed it in New York, but you know, Erie to where I was in New York was just across the uh, state line, so it didn't make it very far, but I appreciate everybody following along and uh, hopefully that was some pretty interesting information and now that uh, hopefully if you guys ever kill a uh, banded bird that the the numbers are legible. You can uh, check back on these videos and see how to send it in and get your band back and stuff. So I appreciate everybody watching, and uh, we'll have a lot more videos coming shortly. Take it easy, everybody.